All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. I have on the bench right here the past two weeks of picking. Uh, estate sales, yard sales, the season, it's going crazy right now. So I think I got about 38 axes in the past two weeks. Some pretty cool vices, one that's super cool. Um, and a couple of these axes here are pretty sweet. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. All right, first up, we have a little tiny Norland Hudson Bay. So it needs a new handle, all good. And then we've got a permabond plum carpenter's hatchet, original handle. You can see the plum right there. Head's tight, things in pretty good shape. It should clean up pretty, pretty good. I haven't gotten into the machetes yet, but I think I think these two machetes are the, the first for me. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's got some, some letters in there. It's kind of hard to read. So if anybody knows what we're looking at right here, uh, let me know. Yeah, pretty sweet. I'm excited about that. I'm sure one of the boys is gonna want that. Um, little True Temper rocket, kind of cool. And we got a, a older East Wing hammer. All right, now I've been coming across more Pulaski's. So this one is a Woodings Verona and you got the FSS. So that was stamped at Woodings Verona, not the secondary stamp. Pretty good shape. Uh, unfortunately it was drilled, but it's a Woodings Verona, not a big deal. Came across a few, few cruisers couple cruisers unfortunately this one look at the eyes offset there really thick on this side but it'll do something it's got a nice wedge shape to it so. and we got I think this is a reversible it's a plum a little pitted on one side the bits aren't the greatest but overall it's in pretty good shape the eyes are in good shape so that's nice all right, now, you're probably wondering what this is. And when I saw it, I knew it was a propeller, and I found one piece, and then I found the other piece, and then I found this. Martech. So it's a three-piece uh, propeller for a sailboat. So this is the kind of stuff you gotta look out for. Five bucks, right? I figured, it's got to be worth five bucks for how much brass is there. That's, I don't know, 15 pounds, eh, 10, 10, 15 pounds. So I bought all three pieces. When I got home, I looked it up and that's like a four to $600 propeller for a sailboat. So 15 bucks, couldn't pass that up, right? Another railroad hammer and another, what is this? Oh, maybe somebody, I don't know, almost looks German. U-I-K-W-E-R, something like that. Eight pound, Nevada pattern. So, that was a nice little head. Um, you know, a little Michigan, it's in good shape. It doesn't have any, um, no stamps on it, but it's in pretty good shape, but it is a little odd uh, for a Michigan, the shape, this is a uh, kind of abnormal, this line right here. So, ooh, here, I'm very excited about this piece. Original handle. You can see it's got the original paint on top. The handle's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of, little crack right here, but this handle's going to clean up nice. And it's, uh, it's a Craftsman, Boy's Axe. Bits in good shape. I was excited when I found this. This came out of a pile an old timer had been collecting for years. He didn't collect, but he had been setting stuff aside when he'd clean something up. Uh, another East Wing. This one's pretty rough. This one, I don't know if that leather's gonna, uh, if it's gonna be any good. I don't know, it's not really flaking. Might, might be able to recondition it and, and clean it up. Yeah, pretty cool. 
little broad axe. What is this? Uh, briar edge. A little broad axe. Another another boy's axe handles pretty toast. But you know, a couple bucks. Can't pass that up. Um yeah, another broad axe, no name. No name broad axe. I did find one of these uh, about a month ago on that last haul video I did. A uh, little single bevel plum hewing hatchet. So I'm excited about that. All the ones that I'd looked up, they had the the triangle lugs. So now I've got two with the round lugs. So that's that's fun. A uh, little mini thumb pump oiler. I've been collecting these whenever I can find them. Now it's kind of silly, but this one is what I'm excited about. So it's it's interesting. I haven't dated it yet, but it's got a little it's got a little sewing machine right there and then it's a uh, faff I don't know plastic old plastic a neat little piece I'm really excited about that it's a little things in life right we've got another yeah this one's pretty beat it's got some pins in it epoxy dripping out of it an eclipse I've seen an eclipse I've never had an eclipse so Nothing special. Oh yeah, you like that? Epoxy and a bunch of nails. That's good. I don't see any markings on this, but it's one of those two-piece. Got the little marker, little pen right there. This is a pretty, I'm assuming that it's a wood slasher. I haven't looked in the eye. Yeah, it's got the ribs in there. But it's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of mushroom in the top of the eye. Unfortunately, the handle's toast, but this thing is thin. This is thin. I mean, that's good for a kid. That is definitely good for a kid. So coming into some more, I got two stiletto. So it's a little chewed up. It's been ground on. Maybe that hasn't been ground. No, it hasn't been ground. Oh, I thought that that was grind marks from removing the mushrooming. But uh, looking at it closer now, that's actually in really good shape. Toe's a little... No, it's in pretty good shape. So it's a stiletto. True Temper. Kelly Works. So apparently when True Temper bought stiletto... Um, they started putting their name on it and slowly transitioned out the stiletto name. So, and again, a bunch of epoxy. Uh, might be a pain in the butt to get that one cleaned up. Now, this one is interesting. I want to call it a Michigan, but the this line right here is a little different. And that green, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if that's a German or Swedish, but I believe it to be the original handle. But what's interesting about this is it's, there's no palm swell and it's flat. It was cut out of a board, but I think it was, I think it's original because it's got the green paint. So that's, that's interesting. Not, I'm going to have to do some digging to see exactly uh there's no markings on it so i don't know don't know who made it all right so one of the pieces i'm excited about a few of these axes but this one right here really got me so looks about a i don't know four pound dayton pattern it's got the sticker on it which is whatever but what's interesting it's got the blue paint this is the original handle it's a 26 inch straight handle. So like a miner's ax or a, a wedge banger or something. And the handle, it's got that chip. I don't know, I might, I might salvage the handle. Um, we're, we're pretty clean on the, on the palm swell. So it's in pretty good shape. We'll see what's underneath all this tape. 
if there's a crack under here, which I doubt there is, I would assume any crack would be up here more. But if there's a crack under here, then I'll, I'll put a new handle on it. Uh, if there's no crack, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep that handle. All right, I'm going to scoot you down this way. All right. So, and I've said before, network, network, network. So if you're, if you're out there, um, networking with people. So I was at an estate sale today and the guy hops out of his truck and he's got this in his hand and he goes, Oh, Hey, I got this for you. I go, man, I know I've seen you somewhere. I, I don't remember your name. I think his name was rich. He goes, I picked it up. I, you know, I know you collect axes. So we've got a, a bell system. And you can barely see it, but it true temper flint edge. So there you go, networking. So the guy, so the guy that gave me this, he's into World War One, World War Two memorabilia, and uh, old car parts. So you know, I'll keep a lookout for him for that type of stuff. All right, we've got a nice. I'm assuming again, a uh, wood slasher, little boy's ax. Pulls in great shape, eyes in good shape. Nice little piece. Couple Yankees, couple Stanley Yankees. So this guy, his, uh, his name Harris is in here. So he had passed and uh, picked this up at a state sale. So there's a couple things in here that have Harris on it. Another 199. I like those. Pretty clean. Uh, what do we have? Oh, Proto. Pretty clean. I'm not big into the wood handle screwdrivers, but this one, uh, pretty clean. A lot of detail to it. So I think I'll, I'll keep that on the workbench. Oh, very interesting here. So I, I do pick up some of the tape measures and this one didn't look super old and there was nothing, you know, it didn't really stand out. But on the back side, you've got decimal equivalents all the way up to 32nd, uh, 64th. And you got your conversion table, right? Um, then you got your nails, length of nails. So inches to penny size. And then you got wood screw. All right size of lumber nominal to the actual size interesting standard door sizes huh so that was that was different so i couldn't pass that up a couple little scribes that go on a two by four or down to a one by that was neat uh stanley michigan pattern uh looks like we got a, a homestead Michigan. And here we have the very first Connie that I've found here in the Sierras and it's chewed up, right? So I picked it up in a deal, you know, a whole lot. So I haven't, I haven't dug or I haven't sanded in here, but there's some, some lettering in here. I'm assuming it's a, a Collins cast. I would assume it's cast. Not bad. And then another Collins. Michigan, I'm assuming, again, it's it's got a couple different different things going on. Generally, the Michigan seems to have a more rounded pole, and that's a bit flatter. And that's some meat on that pole. So that's cool. All right. Another little, little thumb pump oiler. And what do we got? Okay, so I picked this one up today. It's a no name, no name Pulaski, but can't pass it up. Oh, we're coming up to this guy. This, that's a good one. I am very excited about that piece. All right, so we got a Barco, Barco FSS. So there's another. Um, for service Pulaski Barco. So I guess Barco bought out True Temper, something to that effect. So, 
pretty nice little piece. Needs a new handle. All right, now, what? <laughs> Whoever actually used this thing, right? Could you imagine the vibration going through your hands? A metal pole, all right? And it's actually not terrible. There's a bunch of nails in there, but there's just a little, little bit of mushrooming on that top eye. The, auto, the bottom eye, I think is gonna be all right. And the bits are in great shape. And I haven't seen any name on it, uh, any markings, but it's gonna take some digging to get into that. All right. Now this one actually my uncle gave me. Uh, I don't know where he picked it up. And Zenith, Marshall Wells. Unfortunately, the eye is a little, little distorted. But what's cool about this one is I don't know. I can't exactly, I can't exactly make out the name that's stamped into it. And there's just a little remaining sticker, but it does have, so he said he thinks it came off of a fire truck because um, they would color coat the, the handles. But then again, this could be uh, original paint off of whatever it came off of so decent little piece that'll be a wall hanger you know that's going up on the wall all right so here we have a now this this is an interesting piece this is very interesting so it's a four and a half pound stiletto I'm assuming it's a reversible uh, the bits are in good shape it looks like it's got some sort of coating on it like an epoxy um, the eyes in great shape because it's never been hammered on because this is the original handle and I'll show you something right here. Now, first off, look how long that handle is. That is a 40 inch handle, 40 inch handle on a double bit in its original. You can barely see it. Let me see. All right. Right here it says Turner Day. Okay. But you see the little arrows? See those little arrows? Stiletto. Stamped into it. Stiletto. So this, so this piece, this is an original 40 inch handle on a stiletto. And you know, I'm on the West Coast, so this is a West Coast brand. And this is pre-True Temper. So, the handle, it's got a crack, and it's a little chewed up right here. But from here down, is actually in really nice condition. And it's got a pretty slick palm swell. It, it actually feels really good. So... Unfortunately, it's a little chewed up, but I think it's going to be salvageable. I don't, I don't see, um, I definitely won't be taking, throwing that handle away. That handle is going to stay on that head. What do we got? A weaver, little 22 weaver scope. Uh, glass is still good. It's got a little bit of surface rust right there, but I don't know old school, I don't know, 50s, 60s, something like that. I haven't looked it up yet. We're gonna go this way. All right, guys, so I'm not into hand planes, right? But when I saw this thing, I went, well, that's about 20 inches, 24 inches long. And I do know that the Bailey hand planes are a little more sought after. So we've got a Bailey, is that number seven? Yeah, Bailey number seven. So unfortunately, it's got a little chip right here, but I looked it up and it seems to be a more valuable piece. So whether or not, I'll probably wind up selling it, but whether or not somebody restores it and maybe welds or cuts that, I don't know, um, or if it just is going to get pieced out. Pretty slick little piece, big old sucker. 
All right. So anytime I see a, a plum, plum bob, I pick it up. This is a nice, heavy brass one. I've been picking up more brass tools lately. Now, I'm going to give you guys just a little, a little tip here. So these heads right here, these five heads, was it one, two, three, four, five, six heads, I picked up on eBay. And I'll give you a little pointer. So this is just a no-name uh, Connecticut. Like I said, I don't find them out here. So just got that at a good deal. And the same guy I got them from um, got this uh, True Temper Handmade reversible. So that's a big old, big old sucker. Now, these four heads came in one lot. And all that it said was four Collins axe heads. So, this person didn't know what they had, okay? Because I was looking, and I saw, you know, I zoom in on the pictures. So when, you, when you're dealing with someone that isn't saying, you know, Collins double bit Western pattern, or uh, Collins Michigan, Collins Boys Axe. It just says Collins. That's a good indication that they don't know exactly what they have. Um, and I don't feel like I ripped anybody off. I, I bid what I bid and I won. So I saw the side view of this. And you see all that meat right there, right? That is just a massive pull. So that's a rafting pattern. That is a Collins rafting pattern. Now this, so we've got a little bit of damage. Somebody had hammered it on upside down but that'll, that'll file out. I mean, this is a hundred dollar, $150, somewhere in there, hundred dollar, $150 rafting pattern. So I paid 80 bucks, won the bid, that was worth it alone. And then I got, you know, a couple more ax heads thrown in with it basically. That's the way I see it. So, so when you're going, especially if you're looking for plum national pattern, just type in plum hatchet and, and some of the times you'll see a national pattern there and all it'll say is plum hatchet and they don't know it's a national pattern. Now, morally right, morally wrong, that's up to you. Okay, we forgot a couple axes here. Uh, a really good condition craftsman that might be original handle, but the handle's in good shape. Uh, again, another Michigan, but what are you gonna do? not passing it up now here's here's when you don't see all too often and this is an all trade right all trade made in japan and it's got the sticker so original original handle little chewed up on the bit um, if I ever get around to doing something with it, it'll, it'll grind out and it'll come back. So handles pretty thin. It's a nice, nice handle, all original. So yeah, little flaw there, but I'm going to pick them up for a couple bucks. All right. So this piece right here, this, I actually paid asking price, um, for this, which I rarely, I rarely pay more than five, 10 bucks for an ax head, but I think I paid 60 bucks for this. All right. So they, um, it's a force tools, force tools company. So U S government, uh, U S army, uh, would get these and you could get a, a rake, a shovel, all different attachments to go on here but original handle and all the ones that you see out today they're all fiberglass so this is an older um it's an older piece rare i don't know uh it was the first one i had ever seen um i have seen just the head without any attachments uh that was from an older wooden handled one on ebay before but yeah i had to pick that one up and then you know those little craftsmen, the 
104 Jorgensen. So I like to pick these up. You can always use these. Little no name vice. It's missing a little piece here, but I've been collecting these. This one right here is actually, it's got some style to it. And it's pretty hefty. That's a pretty good size uh, clamp, clamp on vice, but fairly straight. We got a little, little bend to it, but that's a pretty retro, right? That's retro. Now, I have not seen a draw knife, I'm assuming. I don't know if there's a different name for it, but it's like sheet steel. There's nothing to it, and it's got an edge on both sides. And it says Shetfield, Shetfield, England. So that was... That was an interesting find. More clamps. Oh, got this guy for three bucks. It's an older craftsman, little tiny guy, right? Little tiny guy, I like that. That's a nice piece. Too bad they put the Sharpie on it. Now this, this, man, this thing's gotta be five pounds. This is, uh, this is not mine. This is actually for a customer. That's uh, a retired firefighter. So what's cool is you've got, USDA, FSA. So United States Department of Agriculture. I don't know what the FSA is. I know FSS, for service supply, but this one's US Department of Agriculture. So that's old. So then it's an old, old Collins cast steel warranted. So this sucker, I think this is pretty old. Um, I'm assuming cracks under the handle and she wants uh, to restore it and you know it's gonna be a wall hanger but I mean the thing is it just in excellent shape excellent shape I don't think that has ever been stuck into anything that is sharp yeah so that's that's exciting I'll do a video on that piece right there little hand plane I don't know 102 I don't know, no other markings on it. Like I said, I'm not a hand playing guy. Oh, Craft American. So that's pretty neat. That'll sit on the bench top, you know, hold pencils or something like that. Another big old Stanley clamp on vise. It's in pretty good shape. It's got, you know, a little bit bent, but that's okay. It's fixable. One day I'll figure out how to fix these pieces here. The bars. That one's good. Now, I picked this one up today. And it says Mohawk. Shelburne. Mohawk Shelburne. Now what's interesting about this piece is it's a clamp on, but it's the first, the only one I've ever seen that rotates. That's, that's pretty neat. And then I didn't know if someone had painted red and black and re repainted it, but then I saw the sticker I went, maybe that was original colors. So I looked this thing up and there's very little information on these. Um, apparently it is uh, Miller Falls, Miller, Far Miller Falls Tool Company. So I think this one's actually pretty rare. So very excited. Now it's not a bullet, but it is an old Wilton. 
five and a half inch jaw. It needs new, uh, new jaws. I don't know what I'll do with this guy, but everything's straight. Everything's straight on it. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, except for the jaws, which that's fine. I can get new ones of those. And yeah, just a little shovel, couldn't pass that up. And then this guy, Campfire Marshmallows, Borden. That was neat, I had to have it. And then last, so again guys, back to networking. I don't collect lanterns and I don't know what the value of this thing is. Um, but I do know a guy that does collect lanterns and he goes to estate sales. So I picked it up and if it's a value, um, he'll be excited. You know, if he doesn't have one in his collection, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about these, but I picked it up and maybe, you know, maybe he's got an ax. So that was that. So it's yard sale season. Get out there and find some treasure guys. Have a good day.